Uh, welcome guys to another episode of Wisco Outdoors. I'm joined today by my dad, hey. John. My grandpa's coming out today. Kathy will be out here. Um, and we're boiling down sap. So, right now, we no got the fire anymore. going. Yeah, no snow anymore. <laughs> but uh, we got the fire going and we're putting sap in this nice trough that we uh, welded up. It's just sheet metal, stainless steel, and uh, kind of did some pinch weld on the sides and made it all look nice. The flatter the um, surface area, the quicker it's going to boil, the quicker you have your uh, syrup. So, I don't know, it's going to be a little bit of fun, uh, a little bit of work. Cut down a couple trees this morning, but uh, yeah, let's see how she goes. All right, so it's been about, what, 15 minutes that that's been on the fire? 20? 20 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes, it's been on the fire and we're just starting to boil. Kathy joined us, say hi. <laughs> but, uh, so this is, this is pretty much it. This is the process. Eating Pringle, relaxing, and letting it boil down. Keep the fire contained. Yeah, keep the fire contained and keeping it going and dumping more sap in when we need to. We got about, what, 100 gallons? 80, 80 gallons to go through today. Bit of a smaller batch. We did one two weeks ago, last week, something like that. It was about 140. And that took about 12, 13 hours to boil all that down. So we're looking at uh, hopefully somewhere around eight, nine hours for this. But uh, yeah, just started boiling. We saw it come up in one spot. Another thing that we use is a little <laughs> strainer here. This is patent pending. This has been in our process for since we started. It's a little scoop where you take this top foam because that's in that foam a lot of the bugs and debris comes up and resides in that foam. So you get all that out and kind of purify your stuff anyways, it all boils out. So, where are we at? Six-ish hours? Yeah, six-ish hours of boiling. If you guys were ever curious on how long it takes. It takes about three quarters of a cheesecake, half a bag of chips, and a full pack of hot dogs. That's all, like, <laughs> how long it takes to uh, boil down some syrup. But we are getting there. We propped the pan on the side, therefore kind of slowing the boil rate and so we can refine a little more. And uh, from this point, we'll boil it down a little longer. Where you got a little hole here set up for where's the right behind your foot? Uh, we have this kettle here. I'm gonna dump it all into here, and then uh, yeah, we got a strainer in there for it to go get strained through. Then we'll take it down to the chicken coop where we have a propane heater to refine it down further. We just mostly do over do it over the fire. Gives it a smoky flavor. So. And it's free. And it's free, yes. <laughs> Propane costs a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll get to you back at that point once we start dumping it into the uh, turkey pot, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, we, we wet it all down. Uh, just be safe. It's a little oh, windier no. today, we're in a hollow, but we'll be fine. Where are you going? And we're headed down to Chicken Coop to uh, start a final poll. Is this the one you were looking for? Wow. Well, see that boil you get there like that? Mm -hmm. That's when you know it's ready, so we're very close. That boil. That's going to go back down. If not, it doesn't go back down. That's the boil you want, you know it's ready. Alright, so what we're doing here is, uh, this is the syrup from last night, and uh, we're restraining it. We heated it up on that uh, propane burner, and then we're straining it again. Depending on how sludgy it is, we might have to do it another time, and then we'll be ready for jarring. Okay. It's not on you. You can watch it if you want. I'm not watching. It smells good. Yeah. 
feels really good. So we got all of our lids here boiled. Rubber gasket lids are being boiled currently. You put those on right away. Once okay. you pour your syrup in, syrup's hot and it seals itself, brings that vacuum in and actually when your syrup is done it makes little pops. It's fun to hear. <laughs> we go right to the top of that red funnel and then we'll pull. Right there. Perfect. Good job. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's good stuff. So you're arm deep in it. You should have a piece of bread and soak it up with a piece of bread. Ah, uh, that'd be a, just pancakes. Have a couple of pancakes down here and soak them up like a crepe. Mm hmm. I think that's dinner tonight. We don't want to throw Everybody this, loves crepes. Throw this in there. Yeah. Right in there. Okay. Oh. Clean up time. Yep, you're not kidding. Okay. Want to tighten these up Get again? Get the candy Paul? store. Come on, drip. One eternity later. <laughs> the chickens are fighting. Look at all those chickens! Look at their wings are flapping right. around. We were just filming an outro for you guys because Jordan and I are great and we never film outros for videos. We film them, but we never film outros. We just and... don't upload that. <laughs> Sorry about that, by the it's way. flying around. But out in the field right now, there is a pieball. Pieball pie dough out in the field right now. Jordan got some decent pictures of it with his phone. It, it might be. I can't tell if it's a yearling or if it's... We're, we're not sure. This is the first time we've seen one. We got the big binoculars, but she's way out there right on the top of this that hill right there. Oh, oh, dude, there's a big Tom coming out. Big Tom. I guess maybe I should have bought a turkey tag. <laughs> but... We're going to flash some pictures of that. That's super cool. Um, but we are signing out for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, please subscribe down below. Got anything else to say? Have a good one. Have a good one, guys.